YouTube, what's up? We are back in this thing. Today we are gonna be going over this brother effect where they have all the colors change throughout the clip. It's super saturated, there's a lot of glow and maybe some grain and like wavy effect. It's like pretty dreamlike. If that's like, that's probably like the best way to describe it. It's like a, like a dream glow color burst. I don't know, it's, it's really, it's like a surreal look. If this is your first video this month, what I'm doing is I'm doing a video every day all of december so 31 videos in 31 days and we're calling it tutorial miss so if you're new here click subscribe because the majority of people that watch me right now are not subscribed so go ahead and do that also be sure to follow me on instagram because i'm working on this texture pack and i like to you know kind of keep you guys updated there with how it's going and kind of get feedback from you guys to make the pack better if you have any suggestions for what you think should be in it, let me know on Instagram. And I don't know, I think it's a cool way to just kind of connect with you guys and show you guys what's going on behind the scenes. All right, so I actually just had to redo that whole entire intro because I recorded the first intro in manual focus and it was really out of focus. So I don't know what I've decided as editing version of me. I might keep the little corner video in that's actually out of focus because I recorded the whole thing out of focus. Or if not, I guess uh, you guys won't see me. All right, so this is what I came up with. I think it's pretty similar to what they actually end up doing in their videos. I think I shot this in 120 frames per second. This is like a super old clip. I just tried to find something. So this is what the original clip looks like. It helps if you have, you already have the RGB lights or whatever here. So I had two light sticks that are just like, I don't know, on Amazon, I'll have them linked below or something, but they're $90 a piece and they're battery powered. So you can bring them wherever you want. And I had a red and blue one. I think I had a blue one in the driver side or in the passenger side door like on the seat and then I think the other one I had maybe in the back seat and it was red, so like the two complementary colors. So that already helps. What I'm gonna do is go to Lumetri color uh, and just kind of quickly color this. What you want is you want your clip to be pretty contrast heavy. So making the blacks a little blacker. I'm gonna bring up the saturation, just like it can, you can be pretty overkill here. I think I'm gonna go to like 130. Uh, we could just go to curves real quick, make it darker, like I said, there. That looks like a pretty good starting point for the effect. And the first thing we're gonna do is go to HLS, type in that, and drag color balance on. So this is where you're gonna be able to tweak the colors to have them change. So we'll have it start like that green and purple color, and then we'll have it end just at like normal color, or maybe a little bit before no normal color, or maybe a little past it, yeah, like that. I'm just gonna control click both these and then right click and do Bezier. So it makes it smoother. And then I'm just gonna crank up the saturation a little bit more, basically to see where you see the colors to start uh, crack apart, like right before there. So right about there looks good to me. And then what we can do is go ahead and add some kind of glow. So I'm just gonna use VR glow so you don't have to have any plugins for this effect. And then you're gonna wanna play with the threshold till you get something where it doesn't take up the whole image, but it's like getting the parts that would be kind of glowy. So we'll do point maybe one five. That looks pretty good. It's like glowing in parts where we want it to, maybe a little bit more point. 175. And then what you do is take the glow saturation and just drag that all the way up and glow brightness. You want it to be like pretty bright. Maybe something like there, like 1.7. And then play with the radius. You don't want it obviously like that. You want it to just be, you know, just find something that you like. You want it to have like that glowy, dreamy look. So I think we'll uh, we'll go ahead and render this out and just see what that looks like. All right, so I'm already liking the way that looks. You can obviously like uh, change how fast you want the color saturation to change. I think it just depends on each clip and whatever you like personally. But if you have like a shorter clip, you obviously don't want to have it go from zero to 360 or something. So I went from 75 and then it's like negative 31. And I think that looks pretty good for this clip. And then to get that like wavy effect, I went into Premiere and went Turbulence Displace and then drag that on. And then if it comes up with this, air the this effect requires gpu acceleration just go ahead and drag it all the way to the top of the effects and it should allow you to do it if not try nesting and nesting should do the same thing the default's 100 but i like to at least for this effect drag it up a lot so it like it's like a little bit smoother uh smoother out because this the smaller you go like it's gonna look like that which I guess is a cool look, but uh, not what we're going for here. So then I just keyframe that just to have it move around a little bit, maybe like 150 there. And then I have the amount keyframe as well. So we'll start out with 50 and then maybe we'll keyframe down so it looks a little bit more normal towards the end. And then again, control clicking these keyframes and then just going to Bezier and we'll render this out. And I think that looks pretty crazy. Uh, I'm going to turn up the, the turbulence displace at the beginning, maybe the amount to like 85 or something. 
That way it's a little bit more noticeable throughout the effect. And then I'm also just gonna go to the end. And I didn't like how it kind of looked like it like went to completely normal. So we'll have it go to like 35. Then I think that's looking a lot better. And then one other thing you can do to sell the effect is go and get some noise, some grain. If you don't have like an overlay pack like cine packs, uh, link in the description for that, it'll give you $5 off. You can use noise. And what I'm doing here is I just drag it to the top. It's like the same thing that happened with the uh, turbulence displays. And then you can just add yourself some noise. You can go as crazy as you want with it. I think I'm gonna do like 17 here. And then you can decide if you want color noise or not. I think uh, for this I will, and I'll render that out. And then obviously they do a lot more to their videos. They do a bunch of overlays. They have, you know, you can play with like invert, anything really to do with like color and just like the, they like having like a lot of stuff going on. They have sound design, just like they add so much to their videos and it takes a lot of time. So I, I think that's pretty cool. We're just gonna be covering this effect. So that's pretty much it for the video. If you guys want more brother tutorials, go ahead and comment those below, say, you know, either what effect I should do or that you just want more in general, because they're definitely some of my favorite directors right now. And some of the stuff they just do is crazy. And a lot of people don't know how to do those effects. Anyways, this one was pretty quick. If you guys made it all the way to the end, hit like. And if you're not subscribed already, do that. But yeah.